Catholic News World. Saint Nicholas is the patron of children, sailors, fishermen, merchants, the falsely accused, pawnbrokers, prostitutes, repentant thieves, many cities. He is the real Santa Claus. On December 6th, we celebrate the feast day of Saint Nicholas, Bishop of Myra who died in 346 AD. He is the inspiration for many of our current secular Christmas traditions. A monk, Saint Methodius, wrote a biography of Saint Nicholas approximately 500 years after his death. In his life, Saint Methodius tells us that he was a man of great faith. When the See of Myra lost its bishop, Nicholas was chosen to fill the vacancy. There, he was recognized for his extraordinary piety, apostolic zeal, and became famous for working astonishing miracles. Nicholas was born at Patara in Lycia, Asia Minor, and was pious and faithful from an early age. For example, we are told that he fasted on Wednesdays and Fridays, taking only nourishment in the evenings. Sadly, Nicholas' parents died when he was still young, and taking his considerable inheritance, devoted himself to works of charity. One of his most famous charitable acts is thought to have inspired the giving of Christmas gifts, a citizen of Patara, where he lived, had lost all of his money. This honorable man had three daughters to support, and could not find suitable husbands because of their poverty. Upon hearing of this situation, Nicholas took a bag of gold, and in the night, threw the bag in the open window of the man's house. Some say that the gold, landed in the socks and shoes of the family, drying before the fire. This led to the tradition of hanging stockings to be filled. However, the man kept watch, and upon recognizing Nicholas, was overcome with gratitude and thanks. Nicholas departed to the city of Myra where his uncle was the archbishop. There, he was ordained, and appointed the superior of a monastery. Upon the death of his uncle, Nicholas was appointed the new bishop by the people, who were certain that he had been chosen by the Lord. Around that time, the Diocletian persecutions of Christians were beginning, and as he was the chief priest of the Christians of this town and preached the truths of faith with a holy liberty, the divine Nicholas was seized by the magistrates, tortured, then chained and thrown into prison with many other Christians. But when the great and religious Constantine, chosen by God assumed the imperial diadem of the Romans, the prisoners were released from their bonds and with them the illustrious Nicholas, who when he was set at liberty returned to Myra. Saint Nicholas protected his flock against the heresies common in that time. He was likely present at the Council of Nicaea, where some legend tells of him striking Arius, the originator of the Arian heresy, and being imprisoned, only to be freed by visions of Jesus and Mary. Saint Nicholas also fought valiantly against paganism, destroying pagan temples throughout the region with evil spirits fleeing, howling before him. Saint Nicholas miraculously freed three men from a distance, appearing to Emperor Constantine and demanding their release in a dream. The next morning, when the imprisoned men called upon the name of Saint Nicholas for intercession, the Emperor freed them, sending them back to the great saint with a letter asking for no more threats, but for peace in the world. For this, Saint Nicholas is regarded as the patron of prisoners and captives. Additional miracles reported at the intercession of Saint Nicholas include the raising to life three young boys who were killed and hidden in pickling barrels to avoid detection, for this, he is the patron and protector of children, and the calming of stormy seas by his word upon voyages to the Holy Land. It is this latter miracle, during which he appeared to frighten sailors off the coast of Lycia, that led his patronage of sailors. Sailors in the Aegean and Ionian seas, following a common Eastern custom, had their star of Saint Nicholas and wished one another a good voyage in the phrase May Saint Nicholas hold the tiller. Under the rule of Emperor Diocletian, Nicholas was imprisoned for his faith, but refused to recant, and was eventually freed upon the death of the Emperor. He is recorded as making a glorious confession of the faith to his jailers, converting many. Saint Nicholas died at Myra, and is buried there in the basilica named for him. At Myra the venerable body of the bishop, embalmed as it was in the good ointments of virtue exuded a sweet-smelling myrrh, which kept it from corruption and proved a health-giving remedy against sickness to the glory of him who had glorified Jesus Christ, our true God. The relics of Saint Nicholas were translated to Bari, Italy. The manna of Nicholas is said to flow to this day. This manna, a unique relic which forms in his grave, is a liquid substance said to have healing powers. It draws pilgrims to his tomb from all parts of Europe. He taught the gospel simply, 
so ordinary people understood, and he lived out his faith and devotion to God in helping the poor and all in need. O God, who didst adorn bless Nicholas. The bishop, with miracles unnumbered, grant, we beseech thee, that by his merits and prayer we may be delivered from the fire of hell. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.